In this video, we're gonna be making sodium acetate. Sodium acetate is a really useful building block in organic chemistry. And for this preparation, we're gonna need three things. Distilled water, acetic acid, vinegar can be used here, but vinegar is too dilute. Uh, so the yield will be a lot lower if you, uh, if you use vinegar, which is 5% acetic acid instead of like 80% acetic acid or glacial acetic acid. And sodium carbonate. You can use sodium bicarbonate making soda instead. But yeah, I'm, I'm using sodium carbonate because I have more sodium carbonate than sodium bicarbonate. So, let's get right into the synthesis. So, hello, hello. Today we're gonna be making sodium acetate, just as, just as I said. So well. We're gonna do it like in a in quite a strange way because well I want to neutralize all of the acetic acid and not to like boil off any like concentrated vinegar into the air when I will try to precipitate out the uh, well sodium acetate. So we're gonna have to titrate it, but like, um, I don't have equipment for a proper titration with a burette and phenolphthalene or other pH indicator, so we're gonna do it like this. I'm gonna add the acetic acid here, and we're gonna make a solution of sodium carbonate here, and I'm gonna add, like, really slowly dropwise this solution. After like a few drops, I'm gonna measure the pH with the pH papers to check if everything is neutralized. So let's start the project. So distilled water here. Not gonna add like a lot of it. You may use tap water, but then the product will be slightly contaminated and you would have to, like, well, you definitely would have to recrystallize it after. But now it's not, it's not really that necessary. Because we're using still water with literally no salt to dissolve it. So, and yes, yes, I bought finally a stir rod, which is thicker and longer than the previous one I had, so it won't break that easily. All the carbonate must dissolve. I'm just gonna check how basic it is, because it has to be like, really basic. Not extremely, but it has to be basic. Yes, it's basic, as you can see. The paper turned blue, which means it's basic. Basic alkaline. Both of these terms are good. So now the concentrated vinegar, as I like to call it, the acetic acid. It smells horribly, because it's well vinegar but a lot more concentrated. So here we have it, I'm gonna quickly check here how much of it they have. Check it obviously using a graduated cylinder. How much? Alright, ar around slightly above 10 milliliters. So not a lot. And we don't want a lot. So now I can smell the vinegar. So now let's add the sodium carbonate. As you can see, it bubbles a lot. Funnily enough, the bubbling occurs only with weak bases of, which is a salt of weak acids, such as carbonic acid salts, which is carbonates. Uh, why is that? 
is because, well, like sodium hydroxide when reacting with acids, it doesn't produce any side products apart water. While mm, these weak uh, acid salts, well, carbonates, let's get carbonates, they produce quite a bit. Uh, they produce quite a bit of CO2. Alright, slightly acidic. Yeah, it's slightly acidic, but like most of the acidic acid. Already got neutralized, so I think we may be able to add more to make more sodium acetate. Well, obviously, I, f I forgot about the stirring. This is my terrible DIY titration setup. <laughs> it's not really a titration, but well, still measuring the pH. Well, neutralizing an acid. Another pH test. Alright, it's mildly acidic. So I feel like we're gonna be able to add a bit more acetic acid now. Remember, acetic acid isn't a strong acid, but it's still quite corrosive. So remember to wear safety gear. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna quickly titrate it. Well, titrate it. It's not really a titration, but oh well. Alright, so I'm gonna end the neutralization, and I'll get to get back to you later. Alright, to get like. Higher, like, I don't know how to call it. To get higher, well, contact point with the hot plate, I turned. I switched! <laughs> I switched in the small 250 milliliter beaker to a larger liter one, and now it's boiling. We got all that in boil to, I don't know, to like, quite a small amount. Transfer it back to this beaker. And basically, recrystallize it. I also checked if an alternative method of precipitating it out using, well, uh, adding acetone, uh, I checked if it would work, but it didn't work, so I have to stick with the classic method of boiling it down. So now I'm gonna recrystallize this just to purify the final product. This will take a few hours, so see you tomorrow. Alright, so next day we have it. We have our crystallized sodium acetate. So on the final note, this is our final finished product. It's very pure. Well, there might be like a little bit of Sodium carbonate contamination, but I think I removed it while recrystallizing. So yeah, this is our final product. So thanks for watching the video and bye.